Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of uh, the secondary math video. Um, we are going to, if you have not watched the first part, I have given the link in the description below. You could check that out. So here we are going to solve problems based on what we learned in the previous videos. James wants to cover a floor measuring 90 centimeter by 120 centimeter with square tiles of the same size. Given that he uses only whole tiles, find the largest possible length of the side of each tile and the number of tiles that are needed to cover the floor. So let's assume that this is the floor area given as 90 centimeter by 120 centimeters. So this is 90 centimeter and this is 120 centimeters, assuming. And now what we need to figure out is actually um, here, this 90 centimeters, you see here there is one thing here that says whole tiles. So we cannot use partial tiles, meaning if I have tiles up to here, there I cannot have anything left, any space left here or it cannot overshoot. So, or I have to use whole tiles everywhere. So in this case, if I'm going to use tiles of the same size and that to square, uh, that has to actually equally divide this 90. So, for example, if it's three, for example, it equally divides this 90. Similarly, on the other side, and it should be able to equally divide here the 90 and also 120 if I arrange the tiles along this end. So now what we need to figure out is, as we saw in the last video, now we need to find the highest common factor, HCF of 90 and 120. So the number that can divide them is 2. 2 times 45 gives 90 and 2 times 60 gives 120. Again, we can divide this by 5. So 5 times 9 is 45, 5 times 12 is 60. And again, further this can be divided by 3. 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 4 is 12. And we cannot go any further. And as we always know for highest common factor, we only take what is on the vertical uh, side of the um, this whole thing so 2 times 5 times 3 so that will give the value that can divide both 90 and 120 this is the highest common factor that can divide 90 and 120 that is 5 times 3 is 15 15 times 2 is 30 so the answer that the largest possible length of the side of each tile is 30 actually. And you know that, see if it is 30, 30 times 3 gives 90. So you will have 3 of them here. And similarly here, 30 times 4 gives 120. So here we have 4 tiles and here we have 3 of those tiles. And each of this is 30 centimeters long. And now going, first question is answered, the largest possible length of the side of each tile is 30 centimeters. And the number of tiles that are needed to cover the floor, that's quite easy because when you see here, you have one, two, three, four in one row, they have three such rows. So three times four, that gives you 12. So that's the answer for B. The answer for A is 30 as we saw. 30 centimeters. I hope this was clear. We'll move on to the next problem. Three bells toll at intervals of two minutes, three minutes, and four minutes respectively. If they toll together at 3 p.m., at what time will they toll next together again? So you see, any time when we see what time they will next happen what time what is the next time that they all come together what is the next time they all happen at the same time or you know the uh, when you arrange books what is the ne the uh, first time when all the three uh, 
probably all three stacks are reaching the same uh, height. Uh, all these are indications that this is an LCM related problem. So here, uh, for understanding purposes, we can assume that the three bells are A, B, and C. And we know that A tolls every two minutes, B tolls every three minutes, and C tolls every four minutes. So let's say at 3 o'clock, uh, 3 p.m., all the three bells toll, so ring, right? And A, the bell A will actually ring after two minutes because it's every two minutes it's supposed to uh, ring. So again, after four, and then six, eight, 10, 12, 14, it goes in multiples of two. So these are the times when the bell A rings. And bell B, for example, will actually happen in three here, three minutes, and then six minutes, and so on. So it here is nine minutes, 12 minutes, and 15 minutes. And you see here, both A and B are ringing here. Now let's look for C. C every four minutes, so it rings at four, but B does not ring then. And then again here, so this is C is not here. So this is the first time when bell C rings, or A, B, and C, all the three of them ring at the same time. So this is the 12 is our lowest common multiple. So basically for this particular problem, if we were to work without going through this, what we would have done is we would have just written down 2, 3, and 4. And the common factor for all of these, there is no one common factor, but at least two of them have common factor. So we can still do that. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 I write it down as it is. 2 times 2 is 4. So in LCM, you know, we multiply all of them. In HCF, we multiply only whatever is the vertical side. But LCM is all of them. So 2 times 1 times 3 times 2. That is equal to 12. So that is the LCM that we got here. So at 312, the answer for this question is 312 p.m. So at 312 p.m., all the three bells will toll again together. I hope this was clear. If you have any questions, please drop me in the comment section. I will try to get back to you. Have a great day. Happy learning. Bye.